Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another Mimi Box unboxing video. I believe that this is the, does the card say? It's like the Super Box number 48, that's what it is, and it's the Daily Dose of Beauty Box. I'm kind of doing this a bit differently than I did my last one, just because my last unboxing was so long, and um, I'm really weird about first impressions, and I'm just, I'm not great at those kind of videos. I just really like being able to be knowledgeable about what I'm talking about, and kind of have a better idea rather than just like, oh, look at this product I'm not even too sure what it does and it just gets kind of hectic and I just I like watching unboxing videos but personally for me to film them I kind of like having an, an idea of what I'm going to be talking about before I just you know turn the camera on and talk about it so I did go through this box um, I tried out just a couple of things I haven't tried out everything but I just kind of went through it so that I would have an idea of what to talk about so that this video is more put together I guess I don't know but anyway um, we are going to go through it so the first thing that was laying on the top of the box is this it's called the steam silk hair pack so this says that it is a hair pack that contains argan oil olive oil and coconut oil and the idea is that after you have washed your hair and while it's damp you can step out of the shower put this over your hair it's kind of almost like a hair cap and then you just kind of let yourself have like a deep conditioning treatment you know for about 30 minutes go back in the shower rinse it off and it's to leave your hair just feeling amazing obviously I haven't tried this yet but I'm really really excited to and I'm excited to see you know how well it works so we will give that a try um, next, let's talk about this because this is a product that I did try out last night. This is called the Pro U S Wrinkle S C Renewal Ampoule, A M P O U L E. This is a product that retails for 96 bucks. Like, oh my god, how crazy is that? And by the way, that hair pack retails for nine. The cool thing about this box is everything in here is full size, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but basically, this is just kind of a wrinkle reducing serum. It's supposed to help control the skin's moisture slash oil balance. It's paraben, alcohol, mineral oil, artificial coloring, artificial fragrance, triethanol free, and it's packed with various wrinkle care components and a peptide complex. So you just apply this like you would a serum and I absolutely loved the way when I used this last night that it made my skin feel. I really like the bottle. It comes in this really nice frosted jar. It just kind of um, feels really good. And I think it kind of looks high end. Like it looks, you know, kind of, you know, like a $96 product. Um, it's got a really cool texture to it. I don't know if you can tell here, but it's very liquidy. I mean, it's almost like the texture of water, just maybe slightly thicker. But most of my serums that I use have a very kind of thick, oily, very emollient kind of feeling to them. And this is really different in the sense where you put it on, and at first you're like, okay, I feel like I'm just slapping water on my face. And then it's like the more you kind of um, rub it into your skin, you can really feel the hydration begin, and you get, you get a little bit of like a thicker texture the more that you rub and it. I'm really excited to use it again tonight because I just love the way it made my skin feel. It kind of had like um, just a really nice cooling, refreshing sensation on the skin. It just made my skin feel really good. Don't know how else to describe it, but I liked it. Another cool little serum that came in this box is called the Aqua Wonder Intensive Renewing Serum. This retails for uh, $43, and it says that it delivers intense moisture and nutrition by absorbing quickly and deeply into the skin. When used, it will leave your skin shining with a natural, supple glow. So I haven't used this yet. I will show you guys what it looks like. Maybe tonight, instead of using that serum, I'll use this one, because um, I am really excited to use this. I think the bottle is so pretty. I love this kind of like a mint green color. I think it's so pretty. I love that it comes in a pump. Um, I'm just really excited to try this. It says that it's whitening and anti wrinkle so I'm not too sure how into the whitening aspect of it I am. I know that that's really popular in Asian skincare products. I feel like I'm pale enough. Like, I don't need any whitening or, you know, too much brightening. But, you know, if it helps to fade some of my acne you know, post acne scars and, you know, hyperpigmentation or whatever. I'm totally in for that. So I'm excited to use this and hopefully it is very moisturizing and it gives my skin a supple glow. Another product that I did try is this product here. Again, full size retails for $8. It's the Jolie BB Lip Treatment. It says, and BB is like B-E-B-E, -B -E, not like BB cream. Thank God. This is a lip treatment enriched with shea butter, a refreshing lime scent and moisture rich aloe vera complex. And it's supposed to deliver instant hydration and nutrition to your dry chapped lips. I used this stuff last night and I was so freaking impressed. Over the weekend, um, I did a little bit of drinking and everything got really dehydrated and I was just not applying chapstick or anything that night. And so my lips, seriously, I mean, even now they're just cracked like all along the outside. I mean, to the point where they were like flaking and they were like bright cherry red.
red. I mean, they were just yeah. awful. Finally, I'm actually getting the issue under control, but like I couldn't wear lipstick, I couldn't wear lip gloss or anything because my lips hurt so badly. So this came out like a perfect time and I am just so obsessed with it. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on right now because I just really, I love this stuff. It's like, um, it's kind of like almost a lip oil is how I would describe it, but less, but less greasy feeling. I don't know, maybe like a, like a liquid chapstick? I don't know. I guess lip oil is kind of the wrong term because it's not as oily as a lip oil, but mm, it feels so good. As for the refreshing lime scent, because that almost kind of threw me off because I'm not too sure how into lime scents I am. It's got kind of a, it's got kind of a citrusy scent to it, but it's not, it's not intense. It has no flavor and I like the scent. I really don't think it's bad and it just, oh, it feels so good. And after I've let this sit into my lips for, you know, like five or ten minutes, my lips feel awesome. So I'm really, really impressed with this and um, I'm loving what it's doing to my lips. Next, let's talk about this eyeshadow. Full size again. Um, this is in the shade Gold. It's from Cheek Room and it retails for eight bucks. It's just an eyeshadow. It says that it boosts high levels of adherence and blendability and it's supposed to be not smudging color, lasts all day long, Freeze free wear, velvety texture, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's supposed to be good eyeshadow. Um, I've only swatched this. I should have used it today. Um, I don't love the packaging. It's cheap plastic, but the color is really pretty. And it is. It's very velvety, very, very smooth feeling. Maybe just a tad bit powdery. But there's what it looks like. I mean, that was just kind of a quick little swatch, and it's really pretty. When I put it like on the back of my hand, it almost feels like a like a Lorac shadow. So there it is. Really, really golden yellowish kind of color. This definitely is a gold. It has a strong yellow undertone to it, which I don't know. I mean, I'll give it a try. I don't know if it's totally my color. I usually like golds that are a bit more like antique gold or like a brassy kind of gold. So I don't know. We'll see, but um, I like the feeling of it. I like the pigmentation, and I'll definitely give it a try. Next, let's talk about this guy here. This is the, oh my gosh, where is it? There we go. Um, the Grinif Raw Organic Jojoba Golden Oil. Retails for $36. And if you want to get an idea of the packaging, this is what it looks like. Feels a little bit oily on the outside. I'm wondering if some of it might have accidentally spilled through, but it's not its not awful, just a little bit. Um, this is what it looks like. I really, really like the bottle. Um, this is just, I guess, a jojoba oil. Like, it's 98% uh, jojoba, 1% vitamin E, and 1% lavender essential oil, which you can definitely smell a little bit of that lavender coming through. Um, so what this claims is that it's a totally non-processed, purely natural product. Um, it works to deliver intense hydration and nutrition to extremely dry skin types while renewing renewing the moisture slash oil balance. Multi oil with a lightly absorbing texture and a subtle lavender oil fragrance. You can mix it in with your face cream, your body lotion, you can use it in your hair. It's supposed to be just kind of like, you know, like coconut oil, argan oil, just kind of like an all purpose oil. I don't know if I'll try it on my face, I might. I don't know, I've been kind of getting into oils a little bit more recently. Maybe this will kind of like push me. Um, I always get really nervous though. But I mean, I might try it in my hair. I might try mixing it in with my body lotion. Um, I kind of like the idea of having like an all-purpose oil. So I'm really excited because I don't have anything like that. Next is this lipstick. And this is called the Bulgeum Lipstick. I think is how you pronounce that. B-U-L-G-E-U-M. Mine is in the shade Pink Martini, and it says, with this unique lipstick, there is no need for multiple lip products anymore. It's a lip essence, which I'm guessing is like a lip moisturizer, lipstick, lip tint, and lip gloss that all come together for a long-lasting, glossy, and vivid lip color. Um, you're just supposed to apply it to your lips. So I will show you the color because it is way pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very unique. I like it. I think it's kind of cool. I like the black tube. And then you open it up and you're kind of like, what? <laughs> um, but it basically is like a liquid lipstick and it's really, like I said, really, really pretty. Um, one thing I noticed is though when I turn this, it's very, like, it doesn't click. It just kind of turns. And so when I first got this, I was like, okay, like, I kept on turning it because I was like, what the heck? Like, why isn't it clicking or doing anything to, like, show me that it's pushing out product? And then all of a sudden, like, product just came out. So if you get this box, I guess be aware of that. But, like, right now I'm turning it and I'm having to be careful because I'm like, is product coming out or what's happening here? Anyway, there is what it looks like. How freaking pretty is that color? It's like a bright, just fuchsia -y peak. So pretty. And... I, the texture of this is really cool. It's, I mean, it is kind of like a liquid lipstick, but like less heavy and less drying. You can definitely tell that this is going to be a very moisturizing product. It's kind of like a really, really pigmented lip gloss. Um, I just really like that color, and I love too how you can build it up. But I like if I take my finger and I kind of sheer it out, 
you know, you can get a slightly less dramatic look with it depending on how much you put on. And the other thing I noticed is that uh, last night when I swashed this and then I took it off with like a paper towel, it left a little bit of a stain behind. I think the texture is just really cool because it's not as like thick and sticky as a lip gloss, but it's not as like heavy and as drying as a liquid lipstick. So I'm really excited to actually try this on the lips and see just how long wearing it you is. You see here, it, I mean, it definitely kind of stains a bit. So um, I'm excited to give that a try and I really like the color, so I'm happy about that. And finally, the last thing in here is the same thing that I got in my last Mimi box. This is one of the Sally's Box Delight Hydrogel Mask Packs. It comes with a ceramide mask, this collagen mask, and then a something that starts with a P that I can't pronounce mask. On my little card, it says Sally's Box Delight Hydrogel Mask. It retails for $13. Um, but the product description is for like a lip gloss. It talks about this is for all lip gloss junkies. So I'm guessing I had a little bit of a typo on my little card here. But like I said, I've had these before. Um, I really like these. The only one that I don't like is the one that starts with a P. It's like the panenthanol or something like that. That one kind of made my skin react a little bit weird. It kind of stung a little bit. But the collagen mask is amazing. And the ceramide mask was really hydrating too. So I'm super happy to get these again actually. Especially because this collagen mask like completely changed my skin's life when I used it. It just felt so good. It was really refreshing. Really added a you know, really nice amount of moisture. And I do like these hydrogel masks a lot. They're really convenient. They're like these thick, rubbery masks that are super, super saturated in product. And you just lay them on your skin, keep them on there for like 30 minutes. And they just add a lot of moisture and just good stuff into your skin. So I really am happy to get these again. I'm not upset by that at all. Of course, it would have been kind of cool to get a different product, but this is also a completely different box. Before, I was sent the Global Beauty box. And then this one, like I said, is the Super Box. So I can understand how everyone in a while if you're ordering between boxes you could get some crossover product but I'm just glad I got a product that I like and that I will definitely use again because I'm completely out of these and um, I do miss them. I like these a lot. So that is it. That was my Mimi box. Hopefully this unboxing was a little bit better, a little bit easier. Let me know if you guys like the first impression format or if you like this format more. I can tell you what, this format is way easier for me to film. But if you guys like the first impression, if you kind of like that more traditional unboxing style, I'll definitely do it for you. I will have a Mimi box link down below as well as a $5 off coupon code if you guys do want to order from them. Anyway, thank you for watching. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.